Hello everybody, Elsa Farmer here and welcome back to my channel and to this week's top mods, well top mods in my world so to speak, the five mods I picked out for today or for this week. First off we've got ourselves a new snow, snow plow, this is called the NMC U-Blade, this is by North Modding Company. It requires 2.68 megabyte. It has some cool configurations and animation on the blade itself. You can change the angle and also you can put those outer edges there inwards, 90 degrees. Uh, this one you will find under tools and miscellaneous. Do, do, do. I thought, yeah, there we go. This one is only two slots. It's 9,400 to buy. It is three meter wide. You can change the logo on the bottom from black to white. This will only connect to your wheel loader. I have checked. I also tried it with my telehandler. It didn't work. So let's jump in here. Here you get uh, some options. You got the normal one with yeah, up and down and tilting. If you press R1 and right stick, left and right, closes that one. R1 and right stick up and down closes that one. So if you're driving on a narrow road you can keep it like this and once you are there to do some snow plowing you go ahead and you do like so. And also if you press L1 and R1 and right stick up and down you can change the angle like so. Now, I don't have any snow here on no man's land, <laughs> but another thing is, it says it's 3 meters. I think it's more than 3 meters, to be honest. Uh, let me just double check here. Yeah, 3 meter. And the other one I have is this one from Hauer. This is 16,000 to buy. This is also 3 meters, but when I compare the, these two, oh. more like so maybe, now that looks a whole lot, either this one is 2 meters and this is 3. But it's a whole lot wider than this one. But anyway, I like it. Looking forward to the next snowfall at Lone Oak. Maybe. I'm gonna use, try this one at least. So, there we go. That's the NMC U-Blade by North Modding Company. Next up is the service trailers. These are by TF2020 mods, requires 12.21 megabytes. Uh, these are quite interesting. There are five different trailers in total with different capacities. Uh, you can change color. This is the same as the in-game Argo liner, I think, 21,000 liter. This one also have a rear hitch, trailer hitch. I pulled out two now. Uh, these can hold more or less all of your crops and also seeds, fertilizer, manure. And yeah, I think that it's like this one I've filled with seeds, I think, or fertilizer. Uh, it's just like a big pallet. 
mobile pallet of seeds uh, the price is when you buy it, uh, it's low, but it depends on what you put in it, what the total price will be. And when the trailer is empty, it will disappear. You don't own it. It's just like a pallet of seeds or a pallet of potatoes. Uh, <laughs> these ones you will find on the trailers. <laughs> And as I said, there are five different ones. The slot counts are, let's see, six, nine, four, five, and six. So they all take the same. It only is the shape and how they look and the brand and the capacity, of course. Some have these dolly a shaft so to speak in the front uh, so I went with this one this one you can change the color on like so and then we go down to capacity now you see it's all oh, that color is bright to look at let's choose something else let's take a black one black Argo liner uh, yeah so here we go 21,000 liter of seeds will cost you 18,900. I've checked with you know the in-game seed price and it's not actually bad. It's more or less the same as the in-game price of seeds. And then you get the different I haven't checked all the prices but you see uh, for 20,000 liter of manure it's only 2,600 and it varies for all the different things you can have in it now I see that wheat for example is 21,000 whilst oat is almost 40,000 and I don't think oat and wheat are that different in price when you sell it but anywho I'm just gonna do some testing first of all I'm gonna test uh, this one with potatoes and I'm gonna show you that it's disappearing There we go. So on the next one, I want to test, you know, this would be great to have on a big farm and your workers are out on the field and they're running out of seeds or fertilizer. Let's see, I put seed in. So, you know, running this one out to the fields and filling up your cedars would be great. But I don't have a seed or Oop, just give me a second. So let's see if we can drive along here, open the cover and fill it. Refill sower. There we go. Now for the next test I want to try if we can overload so to speak. So if this guy is out on my field, running out of seeds, can I then overload from this one? Uh, no, so I need to be in this one, I guess. interesting um, do I have to be on the back like so maybe 
There we go. Refill so on. So there we go. I think it's pretty cool. You know, having one of these. I think maybe I should have one of these each on one of my maps. One with seeds and one with fertilizer. So there we go. That's the service trailers by TF2020 Mods. Moving on, we got some interesting tankers here. These are called the Lizard MKV-2 and MKV-3 Universal. These are by, oh, let's see, these are by DS Agra Service Castor Flu Flowey Steven alias W7K. So there we go. Now these are pretty interesting because these doesn't just take liquids, they also do solid crops. More or less all of them, uh, except your root crops like potatoes and sugar beets. They come in two different sizes, either this one MK2 which holds 25,000 liter or this one MK3 which uh, can hold 50,000 liter. Now I haven't seen this before in the game, uh, when I have seen uh, similar tankers uh, nearby my house, uh, there is a big factory or you know like a wheat and barley factory and they use tankers like this so yeah it's maybe it's about time we got them also in game uh, they require only 6.68 megabyte you will find them also under tools and miscellaneous uh, slot count is let's see here on my yeah the smallest one is 11 and the biggest one is 10 the smallest one is also uh, highest on the megabyte it's let's see the big one is 6.68 the small one is 7.38 so you can see it takes all your liquids but also wheat barley oat canola sunflower soybeans corn fertilizer liquid fertilizer herbicide and yeah main color most of these colors here are like you know metallic shine but you also have the ordinary in-game color these are also metallic oh, okay i didn't check those but anywho rim color you can change also Design color changes the framework around it, like so. A Christmas Christmas spirit. <laughs> uh, wheel brands. You have Lizard, Trelleborg. That's the two you have. Design. Now this is an interesting one. First design changes is on the top here. From none or to a tread plate. And then next one puts a license plate on the back, as you can see. And the next one is called the rivets. Uh, it's a little bit hard to see, but if you see on the bar underneath the lights, you see there are some small white dots popping up. We can see it outside here. All then you can choose it with everything I think all editions capacity 7000 liter or 21 or up to 25000 liter it doesn't change the you know the physics on the tanker itself so this will connect to your semi truck or you can use a dolly uh, it's the same configuration on the big one. The rivets is those white dots you can see there. 
I don't know if it's lights or anywho. There we go. So here I have twenty-five thousand liter of milk. And on the other one here, we have to test it to offload it. I've only filled it up. I have 50,000 liters of sunflowers. So I don't know if you can see it coming out or if the whole tanker will tip. There we go, start overloading. I don't see any sunflowers. I can hear them. But anyway, let's see if the rivets are lights. Let's put them some lights. Anyway, that's the Lizard MKV2 and 3 Universal by DS Agra Service Castor Flowey Steven Alias and V7K. Whew, moving on. I think for the next one we can use what I have inside here. So let's just hook up this one. We have this one. This is an interesting one. I've already started to use it on my Let's Play in South Brazilian map. This is called the Silo Wood. This is by Uma Tana. Only 1.68 megabyte. It looks like an ordinary silo. A nice wooden details. Also a light, a auto light on the top there. It has a really high clearance to the offloading. So what's special with this one? Well, it holds everything. Yeah, but we have that from before. We have these multi-fruit silos. Yes, I know, but this one holds 10 million liters. <laughs> I know. This is a PC mod, I think. I don't know how this one went through the test regime in Giant Software, but 10 million liters and the price on it, it's also ridiculous low and the slot count. So yeah, I have too many silos. I downloaded a couple of multi-fruit silos just to compare, but nobody beats this one. This is the only thing you need. It holds everything you can see, both liquids and all your crops and your grass work, TMR, hay, silage, even your manure. And look at the price, it's only 30,000 to buy and 10 million liters. Did I mention the slot count? Four. Four in slot. So yeah. It is maybe not everybody's, you know, cup of tea. It's a little bit too crazy, but I like it. I'm playing semi-realistic anyway, so this is maybe a little bit unrealistic, but here we go. We are offloading milk to our <laughs> multi silo, and it's nothing more actually to say. This is the only thing you need on your map and it doesn't take that much space when you are, uh, you know, placing it down. Let's see if we can place one more. Uh, da -da -da. I need to delete some mods here. So if we maybe put this one here. <laughs> uh, 
<laughs> you know and now look at uh, our menu we have 20 million <laughs> 20 million liter capacity of everything and <laughs> I'm just saying it I like it if you don't like it it's all good you can play however you want on this game that's the beauty of it anyway we are moving on to the last mod we've got this one or these ones there are a lot of options with this one this is a Fent 250 GT this is by Polo Freak 211 Puma Bremai 456 and Peter A H it is a little bit high on the megabyte it's 37.92 megabyte so just as an ordinary John Deere it has some implements also which you can connect to it and it comes in different uh, what should I say configurations and also we have some wheel options I really like these ones twin narrow you can have it open like this with nothing in the front you can have it with uh, frame like this and with a front loader attacher it is coming with a designated front loader with it you can have it with a flat bed like this I don't yeah you have tension belts you can you know take your bales or pallets and uh, or the last one is you can have it with a trailer so to speak you can even either have it half full like this with one frame or with two frames which puts it up to 3500 liter I re this is my favorite actually this setup uh, I am considering using this one also on Lone Oak for either of my seeds so it's gonna be either that one or one of the trailers but anyway this let's start with the tractor itself this one you will find on the vehicles and small tractors there are two different tractors they cost the same uh, the slot count is 29 so also pretty high on the slot count so you have without or with gear shift and you can see the capacity it can hold more or less everything that's uh, if you choose the you know the trailer on the front it doesn't have the highest horsepower you can choose between either 45 or 48 but you know you can change the rim color the sign color the sign color is the frame that's popping up pretty soon I can show you so this one is without platform you can have it with 2500 capacity or 3500 or a flatbed or back to without anything then we move over to hangar top and there you see that's the design color on that one so you can have it either like this with a hangar or with a top you cannot close the window on the front there it's fixed like this then we move over to seat you can have an extra seat over your left uh, wheeler like so bring your children it's called the uh, uh, sitzbank mit vertak or sitzbank kein vertak so that's without any cushion <laughs> or you know to sit a little bit hard number plates yes or no like so engine setup we have 45 horsepower or 48 wheel setups we have standard standard narrow tires wide tires or narrow 
twin and you have two of these it only changes the front wheel like so and then you can have if you have it like this you can have a little bit of front loader now weirdly enough you can also have it with like this and a front loader but it doesn't you know you cannot use the front loader but anyway all the accessories are in the different uh, yeah we can move on to the assess accessories we have a planter we have two cultivators one two meter and one three meter this is the three meter you have a cedar and a plow and these you will find in the different you know menus like the cultivator you will find under cultivators I'm not I don't need to show you all of that but here you can see you have a 2 meter and a 3 meter and you get what you get and this one connects in uh, yeah, a little bit special way you can attach them to the back like so but that's not the way to use it actually now these are designed actually to be picked up like so and to slide them underneath here like so oh I drew it and now you can connect it to the middle like so turn it on lower it down you see it has a PTO now and the same is with all the other accessories you cannot oh I haven't tested it with let's try it with the front loader one I don't think you can connect it as long as you have anything configured on your tractor. There we go. No. So now I don't get the connection. Or did I? Yes. No, that's the cultivator. Ah, okay. <laughs> so you can have the cultivator on the back. But it's intended to stay on the the tractor without any implements so what I'm gonna test I think mm, yeah I am gonna test to have you know like a cultivator on this one like so let's connect up to that one and then with a plant on the back then you're doing two things in a row like so we might need to fill it up maybe we can fill it up from this one we will so well. no Hmm. Maybe I need to be on the right tool. Do I need to be in this one or can I dump this one? Let's just show that also to dump it. So now let's re try to fill up this one. No, it won't let me fill it up. Hmm. I'll figure out something. Now this works. I can fill it from here. 
Hmm. Okay. So now we should be able to, you know, cultivate. Look at it. <laughs> I really like this. We should be able to cultivate and plant at the same time. So let's get the cultivator down. It's making a cultivated state. And now let's move over to the back one. Turn on sower, lower sower. And it can pull both of them. Hey, <laughs> there we go. Ah, oh, that's neat. So I think that was. Let me check my list here. One, two, three, four, five. Yeah, that's all of my top five mods from last week. Hope you enjoyed it and find it useful or helpful in some way, shape or form. If you have a top mod of yourself from the last week, please let me know in the comment section. And if you're not a subscriber to my channel, please do hit that like button. And thank you for watching. Mm -hmm.